Hey guys, welcome back to Double Sunday. Today, I just want to pop in and talk about two anime that may not have been on your radar during the summer season. And they're both isekai. And before you go, ah, oh, more isekai. What's fascinating to me is the Japanese writer's ability to keep innovating with the isekai theme. And uh, I think both of these do a good job, uh, especially this first one. It shows that they are not afraid to take chances and to try ideas that seem at first absolutely bonkers. And the first one is Reborn as a Vending Machine, Now I Wander the Dungeon. At first I thought, okay, the main character is a vending machine. They'll never be able to do much with that. But that was me thinking from American vending machine perspective. <laughs> I forgot, Japan has vending machines of an, an immense variety, and so they were able to do tons with his character. Uh, he was able to, he can acquire points to offer different products, and also to change his shape entirely, uh, which gives him different options. So he's able to become a wide variety of shapes, sizes, and also to offer different essentials for his friends and comrades. The main idea is this guy who loves vending machines uh, in, the, in his real world, he dies, he gets reborn in this fantasy world as a vending machine, and adventures ensue, blah, 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 blah. I want to get skip straight ahead to the main thing. One of the, with these light anime, I love it because even though it's light, it's fun, you don't have to get heavily invested, you'll still find these nuggets of, of depth to chew on. And one thing we begin to see as the series goes on is he begins to wonder if there's a way for them to turn me back into a human. Do I even want to become a human again? Because I've become so valuable to my team members as far as being able to offer them food when they have no food or clean clothes. Uh, with, he can become a washing machine. Uh, he can uh, put up barriers, defense barriers for them. He can do so much, he begins to wonder, you know, if I become a human again, will I be as valuable? Would I be as helpful to my friends? Now, of course, they would probably value him being able to return as a human. But in his mind, he's just thinking about how much he can help his friends right now as a vending machine. So that's an interesting thing I thought that they included for him to even start contemplating. You know, of course you think, oh, of course I want to be a human again. But... For him to be thinking, wow, I can help my friends out so much right now in this form. Do I even want to change form? Uh, so, something cool to think about. Skipping forward to the second one. The Great Cleric. This one, again, it's fun. It's light. This guy dies in the real world. He's reborn in this fantasy world. He gets to choose his job. He chooses to be a healer because he wants to heal people. We've seen a common theme here. How can I help other people? Very positive theme positive message so he becomes a healer he also chooses this extra little skill called monster luck he thinks it's no big deal but it does become a big deal because he keeps having lucky events work out for him but uh, you know as I watch the show I watch these events and I thought about real life because that's super fun to do I thought about you know there's a lot of times where I know in my own life, people have said, oh, you were lucky, but I know, well, no, it's just because this situation happened that a lot of people might see as negative, but I thought, well, no, no, that this is actually an opportunity. And that makes all the difference. If whenever an obstacle comes your way, if you're like, you know what, maybe there's something I could actually learn from this. And then, so later down the road, that helps you out in life and people, people see it as just, oh, you're just lucky. It's like, no, I'm not lucky. I just... I try really hard to make good things out of bad things. I think that's a really good message this show has as well. Whether you're young, whether you're old, because I know plenty of very old people that just see negativity everywhere, everywhere. And uh, so yeah, I think it, it really matters if you try to find some positive nuggets in bad events or negative events. And that's what this guy does. A lot of times when challenges arise, he sees opportunity, a chance to learn, a chance to gain something, whereas other people might see uh, an obstacle. So 
Very important. Uh, I think both of these have good messages. Uh, I think they're fun. They're lighthearted. And tomorrow we have Jujutsu Kaisen continuing, but we also have Rising of the Shield Hero coming out, and we also have Goblin Slayer coming out. So tomorrow, big anime day. Let me know what you're watching. Let me know what you think about these. And if you stuck with me this far, I genuinely appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.